<laughs> this should be illegal. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. Hey guys, it's your girl Chef Joya, and welcome back to my channel. Say what is vegan? Today we're gonna do a recipe that was trending years ago. I believe like 2020, uh, 2019, the video tacos was everything. You seen people making it out of jackfruit, mushroom, soy curl, satin, banana peels, any and everything. And I make it a million different ways. But to me, the most important part of this recipe is the consomme. The sauce is everything. And I think that's what a lot of people miss out on. They have all these interesting ways of making the filling, but they forget about the sauce. I'm here to show you how to make the best video sauce ever. And we're gonna make it completely vegan and the best thing you ever had. For this recipe, we're gonna use some store-bought satin. Look at my recipes for jackfruit, where you can make the mud rolls. And it just shows you like the prepping of it. So you can go through my channel, look at different ways how to use jackfruit or mushrooms, the shredded, the fry it, saute it, bake it, sleep. fry, die, lay to the side. You can find a million different ways to use it, but let's go ahead and make it my way. And these products are gonna be easy for you to find. So let's go ahead and get into this recipe. All right, we're gonna start off by using our peppers. Now I have ancho and gualajilo peppers. I did not pronounce that right, but you know what I'm talking about. So you get these at like in the international hour, you go to a Latin grocery store and I am taking the seeds out to release some of that spice and it also it creates like a little bitter taste you usually can tell when seeds are left inside the these dried peppers so i try to take as most as much out as possible now if you really want it to be not really hot you want to take out the vein too and then make sure you wear gloves i'm used to this so i necessarily don't i don't ever wear gloves gloves to be honest i'm gonna toss it right here in this bowl so this is the intro chili peppers now i usually use three peppers um i couldn't find my pasilla peppers or a puya pepper, I use that as well. Um, it just helps spice it up because your girl loves spicy. Like I believe in using layers and layers of flavor. Oh, this is crunchy. How old was these? That's gonna be my third pepper. It's not traditionally used, but I honestly think that my recipe you can get to someone's abuela and they'll be like, did my ancestors meet your ancestors and talk to each other and have a conversation and come to you in a dream and be like, that girl can cook. I promise you, this is gonna be your very best recipe. Just watch. All right, so our pan is piping hot. We're gonna add in our peppers. Try and we're gonna toast some garlic. And then I also have a white onion. So we're not even gonna worry about the skin on. We're gonna put that skin on right in the pan. We're adding the sesame seeds and we gotta move fast so it don't burn. Ooh, ooh, it's popping like popcorn. About six cloves in there. It's starting to smell it, so I gotta move it around. All right, I just want this to be nice and toasted. I don't wanna do too much. And next, I added my cinnamon stick. Now we're just toasting these up real nicely just to bring out the essence and aroma of the, the onion and the peppers, the garlic. We're just making everything stronger. Now, usually I will also put like carrots and celery in here um, because it makes it more flavorful for the broth. But instead, I'm gonna use the better and bouillon vegetable broth, which already have the carrots and celery in it. So we can actually skip that part. All right, it's choking your girl, so it means that it is done. It means that it is time to come off, okay? Oh, Lord, Lord, smoke it, smoke it. My always pot is so pretty, right? I think it's called salmon color. And I'll make sure I put a link below where you can actually get these pots. Um, they're absolutely beautiful. Um, I do have an affiliate link with them, and I have like their whole collection, and they are the bomb, okay? This is one of those recipes that you make out of love. It's a party recipe, so it's not something that you're gonna do every weekend, unless you try to make a good coin off of it or just you just really love people that much. Because this is labor of love. This recipe from start to finish is gonna take you about two hours maybe. Um, and that's, that's the shorter version just because it's vegan and we don't have to wait for the meat to marinate and all that good stuff. Now you could marinate your vegan meat if you choose to, but you do not have to for this because it's consomme flavor. Ooh, that flavor, that flavor is everything. You're gonna take some vegetable stock and you can use any brand that you like, or you can go ahead and add water to it. All right, I'm just, I'm shooting for all the flavor, all the flavor. So we're gonna squeeze that out. This is about 32 ounces. I have never made a pot this small. Um, I'm sure it won't stay this small. <laughs> Cause you're gonna need more different sauce, okay? You got the consomme that you're cooking in, then you need the consomme for the filling, then you need to, uh, let's add some more water. This is about, 40 ounces of liquid, okay? I'm gonna add that to the pot. Ooh. We wanna make sure we get all of that in here. 
some bay leaves. Next, we're gonna add in some thyme, and this is just some dry thyme. If you have fresh thyme, you can go ahead and use fresh thyme too. I just honestly feel like dry thyme and fresh thyme goes hand in hand. It's gonna work the same, especially when you're cooking something longer than 20 minutes, because it's, it's gonna do the same thing. The flavors are gonna come out after about 10 minutes on dry uh, herbs. And some coriander. Coriander is a seed of cilantro. Okay, if you didn't know, now you know. Add in some of that diced chipotle peppers. Like I said, I like spice, so I did about two tablespoons. This one, you can use the tomato sauce or you can use the tomato paste or you can use about five or six uh, fresh Roma tomatoes. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the tomato sauce. This tomato sauce I get at the international aisle. Um, it works really well for me, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this tomato sauce, and it's only 69 cents. So we're gonna add in our liquid smoke, because anytime I'm making anything beefy, porky, anything in that nature, we wanna add that liquid smoke to it, because it's gonna give it a little bit of body. You just wanna be careful with liquid smoke, because as I always say, it will make your food taste like an ashtray. You have to be careful with it. A very little bit goes a very long way. And as far as seasoning, I know you like chef, just salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. I don't need it. I don't need it. Why? Because I have my Red House seasoning. And my Red House seasoning has everything in it. So it has the salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. It has cumin, paprika, you know, all that good stuff. It has uh, chili powder. It has the most amazing seasons ever. So we're going to add that to our liquid vegan beef bouillon. Yes, we're still going with flavor. So you're going to add in some vegan Worcestershire sauce, or you could use like more steak marinade or Dale's A1, no, not Dale's A1, or some Dale's uh, steak seasoning. You can use coconut aminos or you can use some Bragg's amino. But if you do the Bragg's aminos, you kind of want to be light with it because it gets a little funny tasting. A little bit of brown into it, even though Cosame isn't that brown, but you are usually doing this with beef. And you absolutely cannot do this without Mexican oregano. So we're gonna add a little bit more Mexican oregano to this. And yes, my Red House seasoning does have Mexican oregano in it already, but it is so important and imperative that you use more Mexican oregano. And Mexican oregano and oregano is totally different. It has two different flavor profiles. Go to your international market. If you're in North Carolina, go to Compare Foods. You'll be able to find everything there. But even at other stores, look at International Island. Just look for, it says Mexican oregano. Seriously, you can't go wrong. All right, so we're adding in the better than bouillon, and this is the vegetable better than bouillon. And like I said, it already has like carrot and celery. That is the first ingredient in there, so that's why I really didn't add it to it. So I'm gonna add our better than bouillon, about a tablespoon worth. So we're gonna let this cook for about 30 minutes. We're gonna bring this up to a boil, put the lid on top of it, bring it back down low to a simmer and let it cook for that 30 minutes so all the flavors can release. And in the meantime, let's go ahead and start working on this filling because every component of this dish has to be amazing. Even though we're doing a cheat code by not making our own satin or we're not using mushrooms or jackfruit or anything like that, links are below on how to prep those items from other videos that I have. But use the same flavor profile. Like, just make sure you like roast your jackfruit and things of that nature, okay? Because we, we don't want no bald head food over here. Our food is going to be absolutely delicious. And when people taste it, they're going to be like, say what? It's vegan? Yeah. <laughs> so we're actually going to cut these down some. These are pretty big, so we want the small. I did pour a little bit of oil in the pan, so let's go. You watching me? Like you watch me on YouTube? Oh.
Now we're going to pour in some apple cider vinegar. And no, I cannot sing, but it don't matter. He loves my voice. I miss Mimi. And I can do anything. Yeah, I got a hand clap. Yes, I got a hand clap. <laughs> All right, loud noise. Okay, hold Mimi in. Don't get scared. I like it. So now that I have that all blended up, I'm going to let you take. See, this is what it should look like. It should be nice and thick like this. And so we're going to put this through the sifter and put this back into the consomme broth that's in here. And I'm going to thin it out with just a little bit more water and allow it to cook for about uh, five to 10 minutes, just off so the flavors can marry. Do a little taste test to see if I need to add a little bit more salt, if I need to add a little bit more Ray House seasoning, or I need to add a little bit more bouillon. You always want to make sure you taste everything to your liking so it can be perfect, okay? So make sure I'm smashing it, getting it all on the sides and make sure we get all of this out. We don't want to skip out on any of the flavor, okay? It's okay. It's okay. I know, I'm sorry. Mmm, right. right. yummy. You can't have now. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm going to actually put some of this consomme inside of my vegan meat. And then I'm also going to put some consomme in a bowl with a little bit of oil. And that's where we're going to start to dip our shells into to build our birria tacos. So for the consomme, I put the oil in it because we're gonna dip our tortilla in it and it's gonna fry. And you're gonna see this whole process. So it's like dipping your tortilla, make sure it's crispy on both sides because there's nothing like a crispy video taco. And then you add that filling and that cheese to it and then the onions and the cilantro. So yeah, we're gonna make sure that it's nice and oily. And then we also have more consomme left inside the pot so we can dip our actual video taco in it when we're done, okay? So I'm gonna take a little bit of oil that I already, I already put some oil in the consomme for the side. And I'm going to drag some oil right here. You can use whatever oil you like. Make sure this is nice and hot. We're going to get this on 400. And what I like to do is hold them together, stick them in my consomme. That So you see how it's nice and coated? Now, I know sometimes you can use a natto oil in here too if you want to do that to make sure it's nice and red. And you're just going to stick it just like that and let it sizzle. We're going to use this nice vegan mozzarella and I'm going to spread this cheese all over. Then we're going to put in our filling. You can put in as much or as little as you like. Like I'm a big, I'm big on texture y'all. So I try to make sure things are not going to be too chewy or too mushy or too tough in my mouth um, because of, you know, it's a, it's a textural thing. So like I've seen people make video tacos with their mushrooms and they just did way too much mushroom. So it became gummy and it wasn't the most appetizing. Add in some onion and then some cilantro. We're gonna flip that. Now, if you like more cheese, you can do it. But like I said, I'm I'm real funny about putting too much vegan cheese in items. Like it can look good, but y'all know that waxy taste that it can give you. All right. Oh, look how pretty oh, that's burning! But look how pretty that is. Doesn't that look delicious? Like what? Like I always said, ain't no fun unless the vegans can have some. Yeah, tell them, Kayla. Kayla, tell them, Kayla. We're going to put some more of that sauce on here. What we're going to do now is flip it to the other side. And we're going to do this to both sides so it is nice and crispy coated. Why you keep pulling on me, sir? You don't want to share me with the world? I know. That's how all my exes are, too. They don't want to share me with the world. <laughs> All right, so we got the consomme right here. We're going to add a little bit more onion and cilantro. And then we're going to add a squeeze of lemon juice or lime. Lime, lemon, whichever way you prefer. So then I'm going to add a little bit more lime to the top. And then we're going to put on our cilantro. And look how good this looks. Yes, baby.
you, I ain't never seen no beauty a taco look better than this. And it's vegan. Do you see that color? And I always say and it's vegan because you know vegans get a bad rap. But you know, I feel like I'm the vegan. Uh, I come I come save everybody for all the vegan ridicule, right? So we're going to dip this in the sauce like that. Ooh. Let's get y'all see that dip. Mmm. 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 Wait a minute, that's not good. My own bowl of consomme. You don't want to share. I'm not big into stuff dripping down my face, but uh. Mm. It's mm. smoky, it's flavorful. You can taste some of that vegan cheese, which I'm glad they have changed their formula because of this perfect melty. You can taste like the beefy flavors that we input in. Everything tastes absolutely delicious. And this is easily your next favorite taco recipe, period. Vegan or not, you're going to love this. I cannot wait for you to try this recipe out and let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend where you're going to find the best vegan recipes there is. I'm Chef Joya and I'll see you next time on Say What is Vegan. Ciao!